Today we're looking at Dynalite. We have a 1970 long wheelbase Land Rover. The dynamo is not working. What are we going to do about it, Roy? Well, the, the best way to, to repair it is to put uh, the Dynalite exchange unit in, which is actually an alternator, which looks exactly like the original, original dynamo. dynamo. And it, it will give you much more output. It's lighter. Yeah. And it maintains the, uh, the looks uh, of a vintage or classic vehicle. Is it worth it? mentioning at this point, Roy, that uh, this is a negative earth vehicle? It is uh, indeed. Positive earth variants are also available. They are available. It, it's not quite as simple uh, as the job we're doing today, but it's not difficult. It's just a little relay that goes in, in the ignition in the ignition yeah. light circuit. Um, uh, other than that, what we're doing today mm -hmm. is is basically what it is. Okay. Yeah. Right, we've taken this out. Okay, and presumably we're going to have to take the pulley off, which is uh, that's, often that's an not straightforward. So <laughs> that's the Let's next see thing. See how it goes. <laughs> take the pulley off, and uh, which has got to be fitted on uh, to the other one, and it will go straight on. It's a 15 millimeter sh uh, shaft, so it'll go straight on to the other one. Okay. Right, so, so we've removed the old pulley and um, this will go onto the new shaft with all, all washers that were there um, and put them back in the same order that they were on. And we just pop that on there, that on there. Sometimes it's a tight, tight fit. That needs a bit of a, a bump probably. And tighten the nut up. So Roy, we've taken off the old dynamo, we've swapped over the pulley, uh, we've changed the control box, and we're about to put it in. So just to recap, basically the advantage is being... Well, there's not many, but, but they're important. Um, the first thing is this has got a much higher output than, uh, than the other one. Second thing is very much lighter. Okay. Um, it really is. Couple uh, of kilos? Uh, probably a couple yeah. of kilos, yeah, yeah. something like that. That's, that's and uh, they're more reliable. I, in particular, the, w uh, the way the uh, um, the current is picked up is, is with slip rings in this one rather than a commutator on that, which tends to get dirty and um, it's much, much more reliable uh, and would probably last much longer. Okay, so the weight saving, there's power increase and it's a more reliable item. Yeah, yeah, so that's right, yeah. Yeah, worthy of the change. Yeah, yeah, and also the control box is, is I included in the back. Um, we, we've changed over to a dummy control box, but uh, it's all modern electronics in, in the back rather than electromechanical. Okay. As, as the but the changes are, 
a straightforward swap. It's, it's an absolute straightforward like swap. Like-for-like swap. Yeah. Uh, and this is Fuse, this unit? Yeah, this unit is Fuse. It's a 40 mm -hmm. amp Fuse, um, you know, which, which is available uh, as a spare from uh, the holders of both sides, it, it, should you need one. Okay, yeah. so it's yeah. time to fit it. It is, yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. two leads back on. The yeah. leads on. Job done. Job done. We test so it. Let's see yeah. if it works. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Roy. Mission light Wonderful. is out. Job done.